Hey, today, guys, I'm going to be creating another custom Kakuja, this time Halloween themed. Last time I did this, he cut in on Naomi. That video is now my second most popular video with 192,000 views. That is absolutely insane. So today, I'm going to be making Kuroi Kage, which translates to the Black Shadow. And as you've probably seen from the thumbnail, this is going to be a, this, this is going to be so cool. And of course, we start with our dummy. And here we go, I'm finished with our pose. So to start off, I wanted to get some sort of like cubes or whatever. Thinking, I want this to be probably plastic textured, not smooth plastic, because I feel like that in the dark becomes basically invisible. Or actually, no, smooth plastic kind of gets rid of that um thing like that. And I feel like this would look better for the kind of theme I'm going for. And I want this to be fully black. None of this should be... um should be anything but black, hence uh, the name. So for this, I kind of wanted to... Like, sort of like a void kind of thing. Not like uh, like Minecraft void, but like... Just something... Something like this. I almost want to give this, like, a backstory, because it just seems so cool. And my... Like... I mean, if you guys have seen the thumbnail, I mean, I assume... I, I mean, I haven't made the thumbnail as of recording this, obviously, but, uh, just kind of thinking, this, this deserves a story. You know, give me some ideas in the comments or something. We can, we, like, okay, if someone writes, like, a backstory for this, like, yeah, so, write, write some backstories. Whichever one is, um, is the coolest, or if one actually kind of fits what I'm thinking, or whatever, whatever's coolest, I will pin that comment. And, I mean, obviously heart it, but I heard a lot of comments. Usually, so. Yeah. So I want this to kind of go to the front, but not entirely. So, uh, yeah. If you guys are new around here and you haven't seen any, uh, any of my other videos or anything like that, or if you're just, you know, watching my videos, all that, uh, I'd really appreciate if you could leave a like and subscribe, because, uh, it helps me out a ton, because, um, videos specifically like this take a long time to do. Not at... Real cool videos don't take as much time, but stuff like this really does take a lot of effort. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys could, you know, do something about that. And I mean, not complaining about my current growth. My growth lately has been absolutely insane. You guys have been killing it. Like last month was my best month ever. And this month is probably going to be even better. I mean, like analytically, I don't know about like views or whatever, because, you know, last month, or around that month was when I got all my top videos. Actually, um, yeah, I think all my top, top videos were from last month or something like that. Which is pretty crazy. That was such an incredible month for my channel. So yeah, I think this looks pretty nice. Kind of, uh, no, not really sure how to describe this. Kind of crawling up the back. I think I want to make this a little thinner. It shouldn't be too, just thick blob out the back. This isn't Norosi. Yeah, I, I kind of like the front sort of sort of thing. I want this to kind of shape around the arms a little, if I can do that. Yeah, I think something like this. Then maybe I can... I'm gonna rotate it like this, push it in, then kind of go with this, kind of shrink it down, have it, uh, maybe not in the front, but I want to kind of have it like this. I want it to be like too overpowering. I want it to be kind of faint. I guess I could use, yeah, I think that looks good. I want it. I want it to be more of like a like a square since you know blocky body but honestly i don't think that would look right at least from what i'm imagining so i want to do something similar on this side but i don't want to just copy paste i want this to look unique on all the sides i don't want to take any shortcuts for things like that shortcuts um like use shortcuts whenever you can but don't use it because you're being lazy i mean well, okay, that depends on what kind of lazy. If you're just like, oh, I don't want to redo this. If it's not really going to hurt quality or anything, 
then go for it. But if it, if it might hurt quality or anything like that, then unless it's a minor detail or anything like that. I mean, I'm kind of describing this as if it's like what I'm doing. And I mean, I guess you guys might be trying to do this as well or something like this, which that's really cool, honestly. But general building and things just don't sacrifice quality for ease if it if it's a big thing especially when it comes to uh, well i guess with everything quality matters a lot and one place i see quality or like um what lacks a lot of quality in games is particles and that's something uh before i actually got into building and now recently quite a bit of scripting uh, I sort of mess with particles because it's like really cool and I didn't really know anything about scripting back then so I was like I have no idea how I could make this like cool powers or whatever so I just kind of use my imagination with whatever I create with particles. So once you just have some sort of base images or whatever you start working with particles. There's such an easy fix to a lot of like a lot of common error with particles which is making it fade. I just see in a lot of things it just like pop in and out and i i mean like for like stuff like for example like a lightning effect that's completely fine that's a part of the design but when it comes to things like i don't know a fire like um i saw this in the mimic uh, which is uh, if you don't know what that is it's a cool horror game you guys should check it out uh i see like uh, i think it was part four or whatever the uh the fire on one part it's just it's it doesn't fade at all and it really annoyed me because like that's it would literally take like five seconds to fix like completely and then that it, then that would be done and then it would, it would look like 12 times better maybe not that much but you, you get my point you know so this is looking pretty good i'm gonna do a little bit more detailing on this and here we have this so this is kind of a torso here, and you'll you'll see why later. And uh, this this is our next fun project, not our next what part? What? Yeah, tor torso arm. You know what? I'm gonna just do it. So uh, for for sizing, I feel like not this big, but not this small. Just kind of like in between. I want it to be big, but not like stupid big. Hmm. Kind of thinking cut off some of this. Let's see. So. Then I'll obviously have to resize this to fit properly. Okay. Hmm, this looks quite similar to something else I've made. Uh, uh no. It, no, it doesn't. Not at all. Anyways, here's this. So, because that this looks very similar to my other Kakujo, why don't I add a little bit more to this? Than just, you know, the arms. Now, positioning on this is a little bit odd, so I'm gonna I'm gonna need to spend some time working on this and sizing and all that. Because uh this actually supposed or like this model is actually supposed to work with bones. And uh this is not this is clearly not bones, this is this is, this is very clearly just parts that I am positioning. Yeah, I probably could actually make it a model or use the bones version, but then, uh, you know, there's, there's different things that I just have not learned that I would have to learn. And now is not the time for that. Now is the time for funny hand man. Hmm, still not sure on this positioning here. I might change that later, but honestly, looks pretty nice. All right, this is looking really, really nice. Really liking this. So, uh, we're getting closer to the end of making this, but I still have quite a few things we need to do. So I decided to remove that sort of um, red glowiness. I feel like it looked cool if, it, if I had done it a little differently, but it just kind of does not fit with this. So just got rid of that and... Hands part the hands particles are kind of odd, so I might not end up doing that, but I also might. We'll see. So this is kind of tying into uh, my sort of thing with this stuff, where uh, you don't control the Kakuja. The Kakuja controls you. This is almost like its own entity that's taken over. Versus 
you know, Akakuja. This almost isn't even, like, Akakuja sort of thing anymore. I mean, it really isn't. It's almost like a, like a demon possession kind of thing. But no, we're calling it Akakuja. Because that's, uh, that's what I, that's what I'm classifying it as. <laughs> Alright, I've done a bit more detailing on this. Got sort of dusty blackness. And I also made this somewhat transparent. Because it's supposed to be a shadow. It's almost a shadow, I guess. Still a physical thing. Because it's a Kakuja, but this is basically the Shadow Kakuja, as I guess I'll put it. I don't know. Added a lot more particles around this area. I want to make this... Hmm. I'm not sure if this is missing something. I believe we might be done. There's not too much else I think I want to add. I think the wings were pretty nice touch to this. I feel like it adds more to the kind of like uh, the feel that it's sort of like a demon kind of thing. Or like a demon related Kakuja. Not like, you know, the uh, like the red whatever demon, like whatever that stuff. There's so many different like, or well, there's a couple different ways you can like Imagine a demon, I guess, being like the, um, the uh, either like a spirit or like this red thing, whatever. I don't need to go too into detail about this, but this is kind of one of those things, and I want it to be something like this, but it's also more like um, like a shadow monster, which is kind of what I was going for. And I feel like I want to add some sort of Halloween decoration around this because I think that would look nicer. So we're just going to commit toolbox pumpkin. I'm not modeling a pumpkin. We're going to get cool, funny pumpkins. Yes. It's a great idea. Just want to add this kind of nearby. I don't know. I don't know what the frick I'm doing. I want a Halloween theme because that's cool. Okay. Uh, I decided not to go with a Halloween decoration, although I did add sort of like an orangey red light here. Feel like that's a little more Halloweeny colored. I don't know. I'm. I'm. My brain is just not functioning right now. I don't know what I could add to make it more Halloween looking. But uh, I think we are finished. Enough with the random Halloween light thingy. Whatever. I don't know. So yeah, this is our finished product. Hold uh Ignore the eyes looking at you from every direction. That's uh. That's something I. I don't know how to fix. But, uh, yeah. This is Kuroi Kage. Or, The Black Shadow. What do you guys think of this? Let me know in the comments. And, uh, if you enjoyed watching this, or uh, if you want to see more content like this, because I love making things like this in Roblox Studio, if you have any ideas for that, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear them. And, uh, if you're new around here, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'd really appreciate if you could leave a like and subscribe. It's completely free, and if you really want to, you can always unsubscribe later. That is completely fine. Oh, uh, get a couple more angles on this, because it looks... I, I, like, I'm really proud of this. I've spent a couple hours making this, working on this. I mean, I'd say a good 15 minutes of that, or no, a good, like, 20, 25 minutes of that was, was spread out, thinking of what I, what I should add to make this different, but, uh, yeah. Enough of um my my suffering through making something like this, you know. It's it's cool. I don't regret it or anything. I I in fact it's in fact the opposite. But anyways, this outro is like five years longer than it should be. So I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.